Now let's uh, turn briefly to uh, the London fire that has that, that raged. Uh, we understand about death toll has risen to about 12. 12, yes, yeah. indeed. And um, more and more questions than answers. People have been asking, how is this possible in the 21st century in London that a high-rise building, 24-story uh, housing, some 120 families will go up in flames. Mm. Uh, over 80 people are in hospital mm. already, of course. Now, uh, joining us uh, from Holland, is Uche Igwe, research fellow at the European Center for Development Policy Management in Maastricht, uh, Netherlands. Uh, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, it's very well and uh, very distressful news coming from London. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And London has been um, under some kind of onslaught. If it's not terrorist attacks, is this fire uh, the... Uh, 24-story building. Now, how would you assess the way that, um, you know, what we've been hearing about the condition of this building and then more worrying that uh, the housing authorities actually put out a policy that uh, if in the event of an incident like this, that people should stay indoors? Yeah, I think it is bizarre. And uh, uh, to say the least, it is the failure of the authorities. And the blame goes directly you know, uh, on the table of the fire authorities, on the table of the mayor, and on the table of uh, the prime minister, as it were. Uh, as you're aware, there has been several reports indicating that the safety situation of that building needed to be reviewed. And uh, incidentally, the former housing minister, who was uh, defeated uh, a couple of days ago in Croydon, I'm talking about uh, uh, Gavin Bowell, who is now uh, the uh, chief of staff uh, to the prime minister, you know, uh, drop the ball, if you ask me, because as a housing minister, uh, we were told, and it's been reported widely in the media, that uh, there were several reports indicating that the safety condition of that building needed to be reviewed. So uh, it is, it, I do not want to make it a blame game, but I think it is important to say that the authorities dropped the ball and um, it, it calls for a whole lot of discussions and uh, punishments, if you like, for those uh, who compromise the safety of more than 200 persons, including children in that in that building. And if you look at uh, you know the reports we've been getting, I mean, you know, um, that uh, this is my this is the first time I'm hearing that when a fire there's a fire incident, you stay indoors. There was a time I did spend a little while, less than one minute, uh, to come out in my own building. And uh, I got an email from the fire authorities saying that uh, I did the wrong thing. So I'm really shocked to hear that, uh, you know, in this building, the policy is that if there's a fire outbreak in a 24-story building, that people needed to stay indoors. Mm. So I'm oh, really shocked. I'm uh, shocked. All right, Uche, you, with, 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 you've picked holes in... Uh, in, in, this, in the government authorities, in the safety measures they've put in place here and there. Now, the people who have been involved, who lost so much and with lives lost, do they have the right in this case to even sue the government for what happened? Yeah, I, I, think, I think so. I think that uh, there will be a whole lot of compensations. But Dan, let me tell you, there is no compensation for lives lost. There is no amount of compensation you will give you know, families who have lost their belongings, 250 families. Yes, it is important to take those involved to court and press for compensation, but no amount of compensation can, com you know, can, can compensate families who lost their lives. Look at that little child that was thrown out from, a ten, mm. uh, from the 10th floor, if not for the neighbors and, you know, the passerby, I mean, passersby who, who had to catch him. You, can you imagine the fate of that? child you know so is is did you see the picture of those who were waving from the 23rd yeah. floor it is so pathetic that and there is no amount of compensation you know uh, uh that will that will that will substitute for the losses is really really tragic and my heart goes to those who lost their 
belongings mm. and uh, families and loved ones. Yes, yes, right, indeed. Uh, now, this uh, multiracial community, uh, it, it looks like some good may have come out of this. We hear that uh, people have been coming out, volunteering their own apartments, you know, to the victims mm. and saying, look, and you can... cooking food. Uh, cooking food, you know, bringing out a anything they can to... Uh, provide some kind of uh, soccer for the people. Yeah. It's a good well, one. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Uche Igwe, for talking to us from uh, well, Netherlands. Thanks, thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, we are a sharing society here in Europe. Mm. So whatever we can do to share with those who have lost uh, yeah. their belongings and That lost spirit their is good. Mm. Always, mm. always. That's a good right. spirit. Thank you very much.